channel, this is Linux Gamer AATZ, and today I am going to show you how to manually install mods for Kerbal Space Pro Program. One of my older and more popular videos was uh, using CCAN, and CCAN does work pretty well for a lot of things, but there are some mods where manual download makes more sense, or perhaps you cannot or do not want to use CCAN, and that's where manual installs come in. I would suggest using Space Dock to get manual installation for uh, mods. It's spacedock.info. I'll leave the link in the description if you want it to. They do a pretty good job of catalog cataloging. Yeah, cataloging. I got confused whether I was going to say cataloging or categorizing there, but anyway, they do a good job of cataloging um, all kinds of KSP mods. They'll give you version numbers updates, etc. So, yeah, I'm going to go back to the one I chose to demonstrate here. It's Extra Solar Planets Beyond Kerbal, which it's listed in CCAN, but if you look on their forum page, they say specifically not to use CCAN. It also says game version 1.7.3. I'm actually using a 1.8.1 install for this since Copernicus hasn't updated for 1.9, but it works on 1.8, is uh, I guess what I'm trying to say there. So click download, and it'll give you a oh, do you want to subscribe to our newsletter? Um, I, or not subscribe to our newsletter, like. Do you want to get an account, basically? Oh gosh, I'm so great at explaining things. But anyway, I'm just going to put it in the downloads folder for now. Okay, and the download is almost finished. And there we go. You can close your browser now. Um, so, I put it in my downloads folder, so I'm going to open that in a new window. Um, so, I'm going to take this file and we're going to move it to the KSP game data directory in our desired KSP install. I have several here. The one I want is KSP. It's a mostly unadulterated 1.8.1 uh, install with a few graphics mods. So you put it into game data and then you open it to get the contents. Now if you open a zip for a mod and it says game data, then you want to go into the game data folder and to take the things that are in that and move it into the game data folder in the KSP. I hope that made sense. Anyway, I'm going to drag these things in. And really, that's all you need to know for manually installing KSP mods. They'll usually come with their module manager if you need that, so you don't have to worry about that. But Really, it's just a matter of dragging the files into the KSP game data directory for the appropriate installation. I might add, you don't want to cause major mod issues. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate it worked. to load, I guess. But, yeah, as you can see, it's loading assets from extra solar, so we know it worked. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.